Hi guys and welcome here on my YouTube channel. Our marathon through drugstore brands that I started last year, it carried on. And today is tapped on the brand Wet n Wild. I bought four products from the brand to try. They are super affordable. I will insert on the screen the price paid for each product. Let me show you closer what I choose. First I have an eyeshadow palette. It's called E759 Comfort Zone. This palette has only two matte shades, at least they come in a big pan. The rest of the shades are shimmers. The most I like these two greeny shades. Definitely today I will use them. They look gorgeous. About these two dark shades, I can say that they aren't great. I don't like this formula. When we have a matte shade with glitters, this is not my favorite eyeshadow formula. Next three products are from the same Love Edition collection. Here we have Mega Volume Mascara in very black. Love Mega Slicks Lip Gloss in the shade Crushed Grapes. Well guys, I have a big problem with this product. <laughs> On the website this lip gloss looked different. I will insert a picture of this product for you to see the difference. As you can see they look completely different. I ordered a beautiful light pink shade without glitters and I received this mixture of glitters. <laughs> I am sure that I will not like it. I keep myself away from these kind of lip glosses because they wear awful. Let's pretend that nothing happened and let's carry on with the last product that we will try today. It is from the same Love Edition collection. It is a blush in this beautiful pink shade. Okay, beautiful people, these are the products that I choose to try. Now let's move to my favorite part where we will try them on. To be honest, I like what I see. Even if I didn't like all the products tried today, the final look is pretty nice. What do you think? Now guys, let's talk about each product tried today. And I will start with a product I liked at least. It's the Mega Volume Mascara. I didn't like this mascara at all. The formula is strange, is thick. And because of that, the wand doesn't apply the product all right. More it loads the lashes, stick them together, doesn't carve them. Mm, unfortunately, it is not a good working mascara for me. Second product, which again is not great, <laughs> is the Mega Slicks Lip Gloss. But here things aren't so bad. The formula without glitters is nice, smells like candies. It's more like lip oil, but the glitters ruin this product. They doesn't look flattering on the lips. I don't understand why they added glitters on this nice lip gloss formula. Next on my rank <laughs> is the blush, which is not amazing, but you can work with it. It's very pigmented and is blending a bit hard. If you by mistake apply too much product, you need an extra time to blend it in. What else I want to mention is about the packaging. I do not judge the products by the packaging, but this blush has a very poor quality packaging and the product itself is not too bad. The most and the first in my preferences is the Comfort Zone Eyeshadow Palette. It's a palette that I can work with it. I tried these three shades and all three was okay. 
For my taste, the transition shade was a bit too dark and too warm. The light green shade is gorgeous. Instead, the dark green color is a bit too dry, but is layering good. I didn't try all the shades, but I swatched them. And this is how they look. As I said, these dark shades with glitters aren't great. On the pan, they look gorgeous, but when it comes to work with them, they are awful. I will still play around with this palette and I will let you know my final opinion about it. Until now, I am surprised. It's a good eyeshadow palette. And this was today's video. I hope you like it. A huge thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye!